Ivan. A couple weeks ago, Matthew asked me, he says, what's your topic going to be for Christmas? I said, what are you talking about? He said, people expect you to say something. I said, you know, Matt, the way the economy is, the way things are going, I don't think there's going to be a lot to say. You don't know how we're going to do as far as toy collection. It looks like we're doing good. You don't know how we're going to do as far as money. I won't know for a couple of days. But just when things are looking bad, if you pay attention to paper, something good really happens and it changes your whole outlook. I thought we had problems. Then, God bless Tiger Wood. Here's a guy, here's a guy that paid $40,000 for a piece of ass without a lawyer being involved. And I understand he's President Obama's newest hero. In the past two weeks, nobody's give a shit what Obama said. How many of you guys are sports fans? You know, Tiger has helped us. They're going to save millions of dollars on the sports team. All these black guys the past few years are getting millions of dollars signing bonus. That's all done. Now they get a hotel room with the white cocktail waiters. You know, the, the white professional guys would probably want the same thing, but you get a black cocktail waitress for twenty dollars worth of coal. I know. Yes, I'm a potty mouth. No, I'm not supposed to say that shit, and I'll give it damn. You know, my buddy Obama, if you pay attention to the fat black brought up in Chicago. Which one? The fat black brought up? She got a TV show. Oh! You know, it's that broad, you know? And, and then you get her buddy Jesse and her buddy Al. They're always screaming about everything. Now they dip them out saying, oh, Tiger, what a disgrace for black men having sex with white women. Now on the other side of the coin, Jesse and Al are saying, go on, Tiger, go on, Tiger. <laughs> no, nothing is sacred. Believe me. God is sacred. Jesus is sacred. Other than that, God is You know, when Obama got elected president, one thing I really expected to hear was a lot of comments from the white supremacists, neo-Nazis, skinheads, you know, so extreme white socialist people. Have you noticed you haven't heard anything from them? When's the last time they've even been in the news? You know, these dumb extreme son of bitches finally figured out all they've got to do is supply the guns. That's all they've got to do. You go to any major city and they have the new KKK. Yeah, kids killing kids. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm making a joke of it, but isn't it true? Now, where in the hell is Jackson's outrage and Sharks' outrage and Oprah's outrage at this shit? You only hear them when it's in the news. Other than that, they really don't give a damn, do they? Oprah has the right to do whatever she wants with her money, right? She goes to Africa, builds a six million dollar school for little black girls. The tribal chiefs love her. They look at all that meat in the same place. Now that would have been so bad, except Oprah's on television, Bitches, because two miles from her studio, black kids have to bring toilet paper in from home. What the hell? She can spend six million dollars in Africa? You can't spend a couple million to buy toilet paper for black kids in Chicago? I mean, it amazes me. You know, thank God I read the paper. 
paper and find out about all this shit. Otherwise, you know, this would be a hell of a boring night, wouldn't it? Now, so far, it looks like they're, Kel Kelly and John are having a good time too, right? I gotta say hello to him. It's my wife's brother. She kick my ass if I don't. Oh! Well, they can laugh. They know my wife. Well, yeah. Really, it looked like you're all having a good time when I got here. That's what I to go back to doing. I'm gonna join you for a little bit. Merry Christmas. Hardy, hardy.